Uh, it was filling very nicely with yesterday's session. Dilbil Pyaar 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 a very old friend of mine, one of the first few people who helped me to technology. Charo Tata Jadav, from a banker to, wow, a someone who in technology right, right up there. And I'd like you to join us here, either on stage or off stage. I'm off stage right now. So Charu, could you tell us your life story from where to where? Charu, would you like to come on stage? Yeah, okay. So, uh, good morning everyone. Uh, just now we had a really excellent session. Uh, excellent shiny by Rajesh. Uh, first of all, uh, it's given me an immense pleasure uh, to be a part of this convention. Or, uh, the important thing is to have a feeling that we have come back to the studio. Long back, I was very active that time, along with Harish, for due to professional responsibility. Actual, ज़्यादा active नहीं हूँ। काचन ने request किया कि share my life story. We know that you know amongst us, I think everyone has you know inspired someone. We all have you know experience and learn from each other. Uh, I just wanted to share my experience. It's not a case study or uh, 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 you know, what I have gone through uh, personally and professionally uh, and reached to this stage. Uh, may uh, some of my uh, actions, uh, uh, approach uh, may help young generation uh, uh, to unfold their career path or uh, you know the, the aspirations. Uh, uh, to introduce me, uh, I have 23 years of overall uh, experience. Last 21 years, I have been uh, in the technology field. Today, I am a principal scientist uh, heading the, the research in assistive technology in TCS. So, uh, when I see uh, uh, the uh, uh, the entire journey, uh, as Kanchan said, that I started my career as a banker and then uh, got into an IT. Uh, and especially uh, from from core IT to, uh, to uh, scientific research, uh, computer research, it's, uh, you know, uh, transformational uh, journey, which I can say. Uh, I never start thought that when I enter into an IT field that I may be, uh, you know, doing a science. Uh, Research or uh, you know, working with uh, top scientists in the world uh, uh, with you know all the latest technologies. So today I work with quantum technology. Uh, even we started exploring the 6G, it is still not available. Uh, we are also working with the brain machine interfaces. So all those futuristic technologies getting exploration into that. It's a dream for any uh, you know the, the, the computer science uh, uh, professional. But as a blind to get into such things, it gives me an immense pleasure. I have 12 patents, uh, multiple white papers. I am uh, currently heading uh, 27 research projects, uh, some of the internal core research with, uh, and some academic research partnership with the uh, 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 Indian Institute of Technologies in India and also in abroad technologies uh, like Stanford and uh, all those. So I'm sharing this, uh, uh, this, that, uh, this is where I reach, I report to uh, 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 Chief Technology Officer uh, which will, uh, you know, will uh, give you uh, 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 where currently I stand with the hierarchy in an organization. But if you, I, mean, I look back in my life, uh, 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 it was a uh, you know, uh, very difficult journey. Uh, so I come from very humble background. Uh, uh, I became blind when I was 15 years old, uh, uh, when I was in 8th standard actually. Uh, and uh, my parents uh, uh, were ignorant about the all uh, uh, you know, facilities available for blind, how they boost uh, education and all those. So that, that particular 5 years, 1980 to 85, uh, was one of the, the toughest period of my life. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the one thing which has changed perspective, uh, uh, my core perspective and the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the big change in my life is the game of chess. 
so I was, uh, I'm a passionate chess player. Uh, I uh, started playing chess uh, since my childhood, but I got an opportunity to explore uh, uh, my professional, uh, professional career in chess as a player. And uh, I represent country for World Championships, uh, uh, four World Championships and two all of the year. And uh, uh, I was number two in the world in 98. has given me, number one, is that self-confidence, uh, uh, self-belief and sense of equality. Why I am saying this is this is the only game where we can play at par with our psychic counterpart. So when we go and play amongst the psychic in any tournament, within any level, from district, national or international, there are no accommodations given to a blind chess player. There are, the rules are same uh, uh, to, to the play to play to, to tournaments or to achieve any titles, uh, yellow ratings or you know the international master, grand master. You need to fulfill same criteria to what the decided uh, the player has to do. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm not the only chess player in the world. There are seven such chess players has started the career as a professional chess player and gone and achieved uh, several titles. I was one of the, the, the first person who got the international rating. But what is what has given me? So I got a chance to play with Vishwanath and Anand in 1989 and several national players. players. That sense of equality that you know, in, in spite of my blindness, if I can, uh, uh, you know, play with the, uh, the, the best in the uh, uh, in the field and also defeat them, it means I can do anything in my life. And that particular you know belief and the perspective has has helped me to to redefine my own career. So when I started in bank, uh, uh, I just started as a telephone operator. If you know, in '89 I got this uh, that job, and uh, uh, I pursued it. But of course, uh, I was uh, believing in my ability. I wanted to grow. As uh, just now the session, Rahul Rajesh has, has talked, uh, spoke about. Uh, you know, the, the promotion has been denied, uh, denied to uh, 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 in banking. I am one of the victims. I cleared the banking exam uh, three times. In one of the exams, I was uh, uh, a uh, third ranker in, uh, across India, internal promotion, but bank has denied promotion to me. And that is where it has been figured that, you know, I need to, to look at something because I don't want to remain as a teleprompter throughout my life. Uh, 19, 1991, uh, because of chess and also uh, inspiration which I got from Harish. Uh, Harish is an, I think the first uh, individual in India who has explored the technology or software engineering space. space. So I got basically myself, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, skilled uh, uh, getting diploma in 1991. I started exploring the possibility because that time the computerization started in bank. So but unfortunately, due to the mindset, I couldn't. And later on, I took that calculative decision friends, uh, uh, to, to move from the, 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 uh, the, the banking to a corporate world. It was a very tough decision. Uh, 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 if you look at you know, getting a job for blind, it was at that time. Today also it is difficult. At that time it was very, very difficult, number one. And number two, getting into corporate field, which is very, very competitive, performance-based. Uh, there are a lot of dynamic business dynamics. You may have job today, you, you may not have job tomorrow. So moving from the secure environment to an insecure environment is a big thing. Secondly, as I said, that I come from humble background. Uh, 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 my parents lost job uh, in that famous uh, uh, 82 uh, cotton mill strike. I was the eldest term, so it was a big responsibility. But there are few people who has, you know, the way I believe in my, myself. There are few people in my life who have the uh, same belief in me, who has given me uh, uh, that encouragement and support. And Kanchan is one of them. Uh, she I was see. always pushing me that, you know. I saw a visible, I saw a visible child sitting on a phone, manning the phones at uh, PNB. I was just entering the sector. And I saw this guy sitting there being miserable. And I'm like, jump, go, go, let's see. Your salary is the same, go, you know. <laughs> so I took that decision, it's a calculative decision, but friends, uh, that has changed my life. You see, I started that journey little bit in, uh, so late in my career, but the, the, the promotion denied to back, but the day I entered into IT, almost if you 
see with the promotion which I have received till now, uh, on an average every two years I got elevated. Uh, so, uh, so uh, as a uh, uh, you know, the, the systems engineer, senior systems engineer, project lead, project manager, program manager. Uh, so, so when I was in proper IT, even I reached to the stage where I was managing nine customers. Uh, uh, so, in one customer you will have uh, you know more than 10, 12, 15, 20 projects. So, it, so that that level I reached uh, reached in a very short span of time, just because that belief, uh, uh, belief, and that uh, the, the capabilities and the technology. The, Domain uh, gives an opportunity for person with disability or specially person with disability challenge to basically uh, explore and you know uh, uh, sky is limit kind of thing. You know, if you basically uh, 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 put your hard work and of course in this particular domain you need to keep uh, 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 updating yourself for your knowledge, uh, your technical competencies. So I started learning C, C programming, basic, Google. I don't know how many people you know about those those languages and today. Uh, the technology which I work in, some of AI, which is learning robotics, or you know, quantum computing, and all those. So, so it was basically uh, uh, that one big change, one decision has uh, transformed my life. And uh, then I basically got into research. That is, that is also again, uh, uh, it was uh, you know, sudden decision kind of thing. Uh, I, I got a national award in 2006 when uh, uh, then President Doctor Yamiji Kalam. Uh, so then I, I got an opportunity to interact with him uh, and he, he saw my uh, technology competency called me to uh, uh, the Rashtrapati Dhawan one day and I spent two hours with him and that is where that uh, you know the partnership with him uh, started he became my mentor kind of thing and he basically told me to pursue my career in, in research uh, 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 and especially in assistive technology uh, but he gave me that vision that you know, solve the problem of people with disability and elevate that technology to create, uh, you know, uh, uh, enhance the experience of a mainstream. So if you see, there are several technology which has been invented for people with disability are part of, you know, mainstream technology today. So he told that, you know, that if you really want to bring that inclusion, the only way the inclusion can come if you can build an inclusive technology. And the, problem, the technology which solve the problem of people with disability, how we could make those technologies as integral part of a mainstream technology. So that was the motivation where I basically got into this field, uh, research for 13 years and today uh, what, uh, what, uh, uh, where I basically you know, uh, uh, taking his uh, 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 vision forward and you know, trying to, to do a little bit from, from my side. So friends, uh, uh, the, the only thing which, which uh, has made a big difference uh, uh, is, is that self-belief and the another belief where you know, so every problem comes with lots of opportunities and you know how you look, look that, that part. So if you look the, the, the problem only from the problem perspective, you will never find the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the solution which can take you a uh, you know, long way. Uh, if the other side of the problem there is always an opportunity. So if you look the problem from the opportunity side, you will solve the problem and basically you will achieve something which we never able to even think about. So that is what has made a difference, uh, difference to me and uh, I basically would like to suggest a uh, young generation to explore new areas, explore new territories. There is ample opportunities are there and, and that the kind of talent which we have in our country. The only thing is that, that one step, big step to, uh, to, to we need to take and you know, challenge that status quo. Uh, nothing is impossible in life. So, Thank you very much again for inviting me here. Any questions for Chalu? Who remembers that little saying from uh, Neil Armstrong that leap of mankind, one small step, a leap for mankind. Remember? And that's what uh, Chalu has done, a leap. Okay. Any questions for Chalu? I'm happy. No? My name is Zohair and my question is for Chalu is yeah, he is a chess player so perhaps it is the uh, only sports which uh, gives an equal opportunity for the sighted and the blind to play across the same board uh, so I just wanted to know in his life of chess did he feel that he is underestimated as a blind player and uh, sighted was dominating him in that particular case? Yeah, good question. I think uh, that you know it's a very easy opponent. 
and people basically, you know, so even front of us telling me, I am going to win this game today. Uh, we saw also this uh, sarcastic uh, comment, Are, uh, and our chessboard, if you know, blind chessboard was a box type chessboard. Are, I have a box, you know, uh, 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 box player, we were calling as a box player, and you know, they were just under, underestimating uh, 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 our ability. But, you know, it is just few, uh, few months this, you know. Few tournaments that, that thing has changed and people started taking us very seriously. And today, if you see, uh, that, you know, our blind chess player gets get, and uh, the same respect uh, uh, the way uh, the, the cycle gets here. Yeah, but initially it was, it was a, a very uh, demotivating or kind of thing when we basically get into uh, the tournament or uh, seeing those comments. But uh, I think uh, in, the, in the life of, uh, we always face such kind of things and move forward, things will change. Sometimes people never thought of that a white person can play chess and therefore they think that it is not an intentional but maybe uh, they think it is basically a visual kind of game, how they could basically play, uh, you know, how they could basically think about uh, the future moves and all those. But uh, uh, when you basically demonstrate your talent, I think this, uh, this change. Uh, so that is what has happened with, with me and all of the chess You are here. And uh, you are in a position of this research. So, uh, you know, our life has changed from computers, laptops, tools, and mobile phones. Like 10 years down the line, what will be the real change which you see happening? If you make sense of this. The way, not only people with disability, but the way uh, uh, the human being is going to interact with technology is going to change. Uh, we already started seeing uh, that way, uh, uh, like uh, the product like Alexa and all those, that uh, uh, there are several such services that we deliver, deliver through a newer environment, which is not laptop, not mobile. But very soon you will see uh, the, the environment like your uh, connected homes, smart homes, uh, connected cars will be used to deliver services. So you may do banking, you may do uh, online shopping using this environment and the way you are going to interact with such technologies will be completely different than the way you today uh, interact, right? Using keyboard, mouse, mouse you may be uh, you know, using touch in the mobile but those, those kind of environment may not be available uh, uh, for, for us uh, 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 in next 5, 7, 10 years uh, uh, down the line. You may use basically an, an air gestures, you may use voice, you may use in, in, even uh, some explorations is going on that how you could basically trigger action through uh, your brain, you know, brain, uh, you know, capturing the brain signals and all those. So all those will become, and you know, the, the human being interact with technology, uh, multimodality. This is what we foresee and, and some of our research today is basically, uh, you know, uh, in that particular zone, how we could create those capabilities where a human can interact with technology uh, in, in a different modality. So those environments can be used to deliver services and technology could be such and more closer to, uh, to, uh, you know, to the world. Metaverse, another area, the metaverse is going to, to make a big change and, and especially for person with disability. Uh, I think that technology has a tremendous potential to, to the, today, even the, the mobile banking and all those which we do, uh, there is no human assistance available. But in metaverse, you could basically experience uh, just the way you are basically in a physical bank sitting at home, interacting with bank person, sharing the documents, uh, uh, completing the transactions and all kind of things, just sitting at home, uh, uh, experiencing the physical banking. Uh, of course, today's metaverse for today's virtual reality, uh, uh, there are some technology, white spaces are, are there from the person with disability perspective, but I am sure that in another one or two years time, we will see that technology will, uh, 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 will be built, component will be built, and then we uh, could build an inclusive metaverse and that, that will basically make big change. So these are two major trends I see. Multimodal um, interactions with newer environments and metaverse is going to redefine uh, everybody's life and especially personal Thank you all and thank you Chalu. Thank you for the part of the session and it's your own home. Remember you are the first few members of Access India. So don't leave us and be part of our lives. Though you're so busy, <laughs> but be part of our lives. Thank you very much.